Hello learners. Welcome to NIOS. Today we will study sixth and the final part of the seventh chapter. The chapter's name is Popular Resistance Movement Against the British Rule. Our topic for today is Causes of Failure of the Revolt of 1857. This is a very interesting and important topic of Indian history. I hope you will enjoy watching this video. Before we begin, let us revise what we learned in our previous video. In previous video, we had discussed that whether 1857 revolt was a sepoy revolt or a popular revolt in which common people also participated. We also covered the events of the revolt and the places where revolt took place. Now we know the names of the main leaders of the revolt like Rani Lakshmi Bai of Jhansi, Tantya Tope, Kumar Singh, Begum Hazrat Mahal and all. Learners, we all know that the revolt failed to end the British rule in India. However, we cannot deny that the 1857 revolt was the first big challenge to British government in India. Let us now discuss the causes of the failure of this revolt. The first cause was the lack of unity among Indians. The most important cause that led to the failure of the revolt of 1857 was lack of unity among the Indians. Let us first understand about the different objectives of those people who participated in the revolt. The soldiers of Bengal wanted to end the British rule in India and make Mughal king Bahadur Shah Zafar the king of India. Also, Nana Sahab and Tantya Tope tried to establish Maratha rule in the country. And Rani Lakshmi Bai of Chansi wanted to regain her state of Chansi that had been taken away from her under the policy of lapse. Learners, thus we see 
that there are no unity among the Indians and everyone was fighting for different reasons. Therefore, they became weak while the English were united as their only goal was to end the rebellion. And once again, established their rule in India. The second cause of failure of this revolt was that the revolt was limited to North and Central India. It is very important to note that the revolt did not spread all over the country and remained limited to parts of North and Central India. Even in North India, Kashmir, Punjab, Sindh and Rajputana did not join the rebellion. While Madras and Bombay regiments of army supported the British, Afghans and Gurkhas were also against the revolt. Many Indian rulers refused to help the rebels and helped the British in suppressing the revolt. The middle class people thought that the social reforms done by British were good for the Indian society and therefore they also supported the foreigners. Dear learners, those upper class people like zamindars and landlords who had benefited from the British rule, did not want to end the foreign rule in the country. So, they also supported the British. Therefore, we find that the rebels did not get the support of most sections of the society. This proved a big reason for its failure. Now we will discuss the third reason of the failure of this revolt of 1857. This reason is the Indian leadership was weak. Leaders of the revolt like Rani Lakshmibai, Tantya Tope and Nana Saheb. They all were brave but they were not good military leaders. All these leaders were fighting for their own gain and there was no unity among them. As their main aim was to free their own state 
or land from British control. There was lack of proper organization and planning on the Indian side. In fact, there was no national leader who could lead the movement and give direction to it. Now we will discuss the fourth reason of the failure of the revolt of 1857. And this reason is lack of resources. One of the most important reasons of Indian defeat in the revolt of 1857 was the lack of money and weapons. The Indians were fighting with old weapons against the British who had modern techniques and weapons. Therefore, Whenever there was a direct fight between the British and Indian soldiers, the Indian soldiers were defeated. Now we will discuss the fifth reason for the failure of the revolt of 1857. This reason is lack of organization. Learners, it is important to understand that the rebels were not properly organized. The revolts that took place in different parts of the country, they were not connected with each other. The Indian soldiers often behaved in an uncontrolled manner because there was no one to guide them. While the British forces were fighting unitedly under the command of their leaders, Now we will discuss the sixth reason of the failure of 1857 revolt. The reason is British government was helped by England. The British forces in India were sent all kinds of help from England by sea route. And that is the reason there was no shortage of forces or resources, money or weapons or anything for the British side in India. Dear learners, now we know about the reasons that led to the failure of 1857 revolt. However, do you know that there were some good and bad results of this revolt? We will discuss about them now. The most important contribution of this revolt was that the people of different religions, castes and classes participated in it. It was for the first time that the people of India came together and fought against a common enemy.
it is correct that the revolt failed but the british government was forced to change its policies in the year 1858 the rule of eic east india company was ended and in its place queen victoria of england became the ruler of india she assured the indian rulers that their states will not be occupied by the british under the policy of lapse however there were many bad effects of this revolt also now we will discuss them one by one both hindus and muslim had participated in the revolt of 1857 the british government became afraid of this unity and decided to use the policy of divide and rule this policy of divide and rule was created by britishers to create differences between hindus and muslims and to get benefit from them learners do you know that the indians were kept away from high level post in military and administration in the year 1861 the indian civil service act was passed according to it an exam was held in england every year to select the officers of the indian administrative service because this exam was held in england it became impossible for common indians to participate in it as we have learned the indian soldiers were chiefly responsible for the revolt of 1857 therefore the british took all the steps to make them weak for this the number of european soldiers in british indian army was increased and the number of indian soldiers were decreased no indians was given high post in the army only europeans were made officers the british tried to create differences between the indian soldiers
to do this separate regiment was made on the basis of caste class and region for different groups for example maratha regiment sikh regiment gurkha regiment jat regiment etc learners the worst result of the revolt of 1857 was the feeling of fear hatred and mutual distrust that developed between the indians and the britishers it continued till the end of the british rule in india now as we have come to the end of this video let us now summarize what we have learned in this lesson so far initially we discussed about the different causes of the failure of the revolt of 1857 we also learned that most indian rulers middle class and upper class people did not support the rebellion also we discussed about the good and bad results of this 1857 revolt dear learners that is all for today we will meet you soon with another interesting topic of history if you have any query or you want to give feedback you can email us at sign language at the rate nios dot ac dot in you can visit our website also our website address is w w w dot nios dot ac dot in for more educational videos you can subscribe to our nios youtube channel thank you for watching namaskar